Hey, what's up? This is Kenny Cameron. Today I'll be reviewing the Polaroid SX70. Do me a favor, if you like this video, please click the like and subscribe button down below. The Polaroid SX70 is one of my favorite Polaroid cameras of all time. It is a professional version of a Polaroid camera. It's not great for indoor shooting because it doesn't have a flash, but it is perfect for outside with sunlight and the camera is still small and versatile and folds down easy for storage. After doing a lot of digging online, I found my Polaroid SX70 on eBay for around $129. Basically the range is $50 to $150. Usually the cameras that are around $150 state that they've been tested and people have shot film on them and they actually show uh, pictures that they have shot on this particular camera when you do try to buy it. So I would really advise you to make sure that your camera works if you choose to buy one and make sure you're getting it for the right price. So let me show you how the SX70 opens. Basically, you just pull the top up and you fold this up. Everything falls right into place. And if you wanna shut it, you just basically hit that lever on the side and then it's completely compact. Let me show you how the SX70 works. Basically, this red button right here on the front is the shutter button. Over the red button is the focus manual. It's about 30 centimeters to infinity. The black dot is your exposure meter. The dial above that dot will determine your exposure. White is overexposed and black is underexposed. The hole on top of the camera is where the flash goes. I personally bought a mint flash from Impossible, but there are other older flashes that still exist, but most of them are burnt out. In the back where you pull the camera to open it, there is a piece on top and that is the viewfinder. On the bottom left hand corner on the back, you'll find the film counter to let you know how many pictures you have left. On the side, there are two black holes. That's for a remote trigger. And as far as the SX70 lens goes, it's made of glass better than the 600 cameras. So it's very good if you're looking for sharp images. One other really important thing to know is how to load the film. Basically, you open up the front of the SX70, slide the film in, shut the front mechanism, and then basically a dark slide will come up, which means it's ready to fire. Remember, the battery is in the film, so do not buy a camera from somebody if you put a new cartridge of film in and the dark slide does not come out. I would advise anyone who's looking to buy any Polaroid camera to build your own test cartridge in order to check to see if these cameras work. And remember, always keep your rollers clean because it can always diminish your shots if you have dirty rollers. So after shooting these cameras, the one thing that was a little tricky to figure out was the camera settings. So mainly when you use these cameras, it's kind of customary to buy SX70 film. The SX70 means it is 70 ISO, but when I do my calculations, I usually round up to 100 ISO. I figured out that the aperture is f8. If you're looking for film, I would advise you to go down to my comment section where you can find SX70 film at Amazon or on B&H. And now, here are a few pictures taken by the Polaroid SX70.